Welcome to Freshly Flanimated. The smart magnet rig system is like nothing else and we should repeat this more often. Not only the elements uh, snap to each other magnetically, but the on-the-fly generated skeleton keeps the relative positions of the elements from the moment when you click with Kineflex and transforms them based on these relative positions. So the virtual bones actually are generated based on the relative positions at the moment of the initiation of the transformation. What is the practical application of all this? Well, this gives infinite flexibility for posing and this really separates our smart magnet rig system from the other skeleton based systems that exist out there. So let me just give you a very quick uh, practical demonstration what this means and how you can use it. In this case, we have a rigged character which has been completely disassembled. But if I rotate the head with Kineflex, you can see that the children of the head actually rotate with it, maintaining their relative positions. We can do the same with the neck and we can do the same with the upper torso. So if I activate IK effectors, this will apply to inverse kinematics transformations as well. What is the practical application of all this? Now let's uh, first snap these elements together the way we usually do during demonstrations. I will chain select with smart transform and then uh, invoke smart magnet joint to bring everything together. And then with Kineflex, I will drag the master parent to position the character into view and I will choose a slightly more appropriate frame for the neck. Now I will make this look a little more natural of a pose and show the IK effectors to show this other arm. Okay, so now if we start posing, if I would like to have this leg go forward and this leg go backward like as if the character is running, the first thing that uh, becomes very obvious is that uh, the thigh doesn't uh, really look natural. So I would like to go away from the magnet target. Now, if I snap it, the magnet target's position is here, but nothing forces me to stay with the magnet target. I can grab the leg and move it forward as much as I like to come up with a convincing, with a convincing pose. And the same thing applies to this other leg. I can bring it back as much as I like to come up with a convincing pose. So all these are relative positions and nothing forces us to stay snapped all the time. If I would like to swap the legs and have this one go back, I'll change the angles and then move the whole leg backward and same with this one I will grab the thigh and move it forward nothing forces me to stay at the magnet targets same with the arms when this arm starts going forward we would like to move the shoulder forward to convey a little bit of a twist in the torso while this one will go backward like this and possibly move the whole limb in that direction. Even with uh, little turns in the ears, you might want to just move them closer or move them away from one another. All this is possible and nothing forces you to keep your elements snapped at all times. So the magnet targets are there to help you and to snap your elements whenever you have a dislocated arm for some reason, you might just uh, by accident move it away and you can snap it back and just take it from there and position it better. 
But um, ultimately, your goal should always be to come up with the best possible poses and silhouettes rather than keeping your rig firmly snapped. Another practical example I'd like to give you is how I can squat this rabbit without uh, keeping everything snapped. So before we start, I'll just make sure that everything is snapped at this point. And I'll snap the controllers as well and create the keyframe here. Then with the Kineflex tool, I will drag the torso down like this. But I also want to bend the torso forward. Let's look at the position of the magnet targets for the legs. Now, these are the magnet targets for the legs. And if we rotate the torso forward, let me just uh, draw something here. If we rotate the torso forward like this, this magnet target will obviously go down like this and will appear here, which will push this leg down. This is not what we want. So let me show you what happens if we, because I want the pose to have the torso bent forward. So if I bend the torso forward, you can see how the knee of the leg that's further away from us goes down. I don't want this to happen. I want to keep the perspective of the knees the way it is. A way to achieve this is to lock this leg. We can just select these elements to identify them in the timeline and lock their layers. And while these layers are locked, I will, with Kineflex, bend the torso. Now we can see that knee just stays the way it is. I'm not concerned with uh, the knee of the leg that's closer to us because either way it looks okay. And now when these layers are locked, I can just finish my posing. I'll do whatever I want with uh, the arms. Another thing, obviously with this arm now, I wouldn't want to have the shoulder just defined like this. I will move the arm slightly forward. And especially if you would like to come up with a pointing gesture, you will stretch the arm and move the shoulder even further. Just like this. If he's, he's looking at something and pointing there and then we can uh, bend it, the torso even further forward as long as he doesn't fall, of course. But if we would like to adjust the pose even more, I will unlock the leg that I had locked previously and I can just slide this foot a bit forward. See, everything works even though if we look at the outline view and go inside here, we'll see that we have this offset between the magnet target and the actual position of the center marker inside the leg symbol. So this gives us a lot of flexibility for organic posing without having to worry about the positions of those magnet targets. They are there to help us if we need to snap something, but they don't force us to do anything. For example, this tail, it is at the magnet target, but it doesn't look good there. So I'll just lower it a little bit and adjust it. I'm not going to deal with the ears for this example today. Smart magnet rigs are infinitely flexible and the magnet targets are only there to help us, but they should not rule over us or force us to keep things snapped all the time. Everything just works based on the current position of the elements and Kineflex transformations will still work perfectly fine. Freshly Flanimated animated.